Welcome to the first Kalamazoo update of 2011. I hadn't updated anything about this because it had been locked in a trailer in Spokane over the winter and I just got it back, hoping to make it actually work <laughs> in any appreciable level for Burning Man this year. Um, I had been hoping to take it in the parade on Saturday, the Fremont Solstice Parade, but that isn't going to happen due to some recent setbacks. But plenty of time still to Burning Man. And I've already had made some good improvements, so I thought I'd walk you through those. Um, first of all, I increased the flywheel, uh, hence these greater cutouts in the deck. And right now they're just these uh, lead weights on the end of some half inch all thread, but um, given how much this has improved things, I'm going to definitely um, fab up uh, like a big welded ring, probably with more lead weights bolted onto that. Um, so I don't know if you remember last year, but you could not pump this thing without a really annoying clank at the top and bottom as it kind of stalled out even when it was in a freewheel mode like it is right now. Um, but if you watch now, it goes so much smoother. This, this really pleased me. Uh, cause the clank was really horrible sounding and just made me want to cry. So uh, that's really just a prototype of the flywheel, but um, a very good proof of concept as far as I'm concerned. So one of the other big changes is the steering mechanism. Um, first of all, I changed the linkage down here and replaced a really awkward and last minute hack job of um, some, some kind of faked U-joints uh, um, and replaced them with these uh, rod end ball bearings, uh, one on each side, which both gives me a much nicer motion and is cleaner looking, um, but also allows me to adjust the distance along here by uh, adjusting the screw. So I've been pretty happy with that. I also changed the steering geometry some to make it uh, approximate Ackerman steering geometry a lot closer. And I still admit I've been being lazy and still haven't actually bothered to set up the geometry exactly, but um, this is really good enough. It's a lot better than it was last year. The uh, the wheels can no longer get into a, a locked position where one was uh, too far out of alignment from the other and uh, generally works a lot better. But the biggest problem with steering was that as you were pumping along doing your thing the steering would drift a lot so you had to be holding on to it here which meant you only had one hand for pumping which was really awkward and well, it wasn't very ergo ergonomic is just the, the best way to put that. So the steering lever had needs to lock into place I decided and that's what it does now. So now I'll give you a wider view there's a handle up on top which is just a kind of stylish looking old bicycle brake lever which is attached to bicycle uh, cable drive down to this mechanism where this tab gets pulled up out of um, the, the teeth of this handmade cog contraption, I'm not entirely sure what you would call it in this context, um, locking it into place. And so when you want to change the steering angle, you, in, you release the tab and then you can make your adjustment and lock it back into place. So it does mean the steering is somewhat quantized. There are only so many positions, but a decent number. Um, it also means that you, you're still going to be reaching over to adjust this moderately frequently, but you can definitely be pumping it um, without holding on absolutely all the time, and I think that's going to make a big difference. The one road test I've done with this um, showed a lot of uh, potential, I guess I would say, and then a weld failed and some other stuff broke and, you know, all the reasons that we're not going to be in the parade on Saturday, but that's okay. Um, so there we go. Uh, like I said, the next big thing, other than fixing the things that just broke, is the flywheel. Um, and, and yeah, that's currently the plan. So hopefully this year you'll see it on the playa in working order because I promise you, you will not see it in 2012 no matter what happens. So, um, catch you later.